now is 832 and we are tracking the latest on breaking news out of Fall River just within the past 20 minutes. The fire chief has given us an update on this massive fire at an apartment building. We have now learned that that building is going to have to be torn down. Eyewitness News reporter Alexander Leslie is live with the latest information now new at 830. Good morning. Well, Fire Chief John Lynch spoke to the media just minutes ago, and I do want to move out of the way to show you that this fire is still burning almost 24 hours after it started. You could see they actually just started to put out uh, flames in the front window of that building over there. Now, Chief John Lynch says that crews will be here for another 24 hours at least, and that new crews will be rotated in and out throughout the day to avoid further injuries. He says seven firefighters were taken to the hospital and treated for smoke inhalation and overexertion, but are expected expected to be okay. The chief added that the cause of this deadly car crash that sparked the fire still under investigation this morning and the car had a maintenance room which ruptured a gas line. While there were working smoke detectors in the building, the chief says there were no sprinklers due to the code at the time that the building was built. Today, crews have a long day ahead as they work to put out any remaining flames. The chief says two excavators will be needed to brought in will be brought in to tear down the rest of the building. The back side of the building is bowing out at this point, so we're not allowing any men back there. Uh, working with the building department, we are going to be bringing in some excavators, and we're going to start tearing this building down. The only way we're going to be able to put this out is to start to tear it out and get at the voids, because there's a still a lot of fire, but we can't reach it from the outside with the water unless we physically start to take the pieces apart. Now, again, that process could take at least another 24 hours. It could be longer, but the chief tells me that the excavators could expedite that process. Chief also telling me that up to 50 people displaced from yesterday's fire, but the Red Cross is assisting those who are affected. For now, reporting live in Fall River, I'm Alexandra Leslie, Eyewitness News.